up, folks? I always get requests to do videos about double bass, and I don't feel like I'm very good at double bass. Um, there's so many people that are faster than I am, more consistent than I am, uh, so I, I don't feel like the right guy to do that. One thing I'd like to show you is, uh, you know what, 12.8, I think that's what it's called. 4.4 four is... 12 is so different kind of feel you know it's even and odd odd is the swing kind of feel the 12 weight 12 4 you can tell I am I don't know any of this shit I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about but it's kind of like language I don't need to know what a preposition is and uh you know, a fucking, a pronoun. I know what a pronoun is, but anyways, I don't need to know the definition of words in order to form sentences, right? I kind of see drums the same way. I know, I, I do these things, I might not know what they're called. Something interesting about the 12-8 feel is I didn't learn the right way. Here's the right way to play double bass, okay? Okay, so everything, everything is consistent. I'm going the whole time and I'm meeting on the, on the notes that I'm hitting. When I was growing up, what I used to do, because I, I, I still, it doesn't feel right. I kind of lose my balance. I don't have a full control of it. So what I would do is this. pick up on that so I'm not hitting with this note when I hit the snare okay and for whatever reason that kind of gave me a better feel a better handle on the situation and I had more impact with all the notes I just I felt more comfortable I felt in control of the situation a little more because I do it like that it kind of gave me the opportunity to come up with cool patterns as opposed to being locked in to this kind of thing. And if I really wanted to do something different than that, I gotta quit the flow and then do that and then find the right spot to pick back up and then continue with the, right? So because I leave this note out, that frees me up. I'll show you what I do with one foot during these 12-8 uh, kind of feels. Both approaches always have this going on, but it, always, it became very easy for me to lock in with this and do that. Not so much with this on the snare, okay? So again. So now that I showed you my half-assed way of picking this shit up on my own, I'll show you some of the cool patterns you can do with this approach. Alright. So the whole time I was playing there, I was just doing this. Hey, okay. once you get that down. All that becomes actually pretty simple. 
Um, so, with double bass, I really don't think about this much. You gotta worry about your leading foot. Basically, with all double bass, I found that to be the case. If you watch exercises, okay, you got a point. I'm not very good, you know, independently with this leg. So maybe you shouldn't listen to me. But this is this is me. You're watching this video. You want to know what's up with my shit? There it is. Okay. Um, so I'll do it again. Try to break it down for you. So, all I'm doing is slipping a little note in there, right? And then right after the snare, dun, da, ba, da, da, dun. Here's a bunch of these little patterns. Now, practice these, uh, but again, you really just want to worry about. Once you get that down, start throwing in this other foot. I guess first you, you do want to try to get the, the imitation version of the traditional way where you're continuous. You want to get that down first. It's actually easier to kind of speed it up. Okay. Then you can start holding back, taking advantage of the one foot, and throwing a little shit in. Whatever feels more comfortable for you. And then start growing from there. Got a little silly there. But, uh, once you get that, you can start doing a little more advanced patterns where you're not really sticking with this, but you can use these different kind of feels like this.
So, like that last thing. Fast, right? But. Hope that made some sense and you got some use out of it. But uh, yeah, guess that's it for now. So, practice. Let me know if you come up with anything cool with that. But, uh, all right, folks.